In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to run CBO ads for your dropshipping business so you can go out there and test products with a new method, which is campaign budget optimization. Now, you're going to have to learn this method one way or another because by September in 2019, Facebook is making it mandatory to use CBO testing and CBO campaigns in general. So you're going to want to watch this video till the end, take some notes so you completely learn how CBO works. So before I move into anything, I just want to say I'm going to be giving away one winning product in this video as well so keep your eyes up for that and i just want to say in my next video or my video after my next i'm going to be doing a store review so if you want your store reviewed in the next video or the video after that then all you need to do is comment i want my store reviewed in the comment section below and i'll be picking 10 people stores to review and if you comment that and i pick you as one of the 10 people I will ask you to email me your URL and I'll be reviewing your store on one of my next videos. It'll either be the next video or the video after the next. So make sure that you do that, guys. You don't want to miss out on that. I'm literally going to be reviewing your store. So you're going to want to enter that giveaway. It's not really a giveaway, but it's just something that I'll probably be doing my YouTube channel. So if you want me to add that to my YouTube channel every month, let me know in the comment section below. I'm just trying some things out to see what you guys work best with. But like I said, if you want your store reviewed, all you need to do is comment, I want my store reviewed. And if I pick you, I will be reviewing your store on the next or the one after that video and I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel we hit 2k so I can't say how thankful I am and we are doing a 2k sub giveaway now if you want to enter the 2k sub giveaway all you need to do is comment 5k subs and you will be entered for the 2k subs so let's dive straight into the content so I can teach you guys how to run CBO campaigns to test products in your dropshipping business so let's break down CBO testing, campaign budget optimization testing, because I don't want to go into creating the ads yet, because I just want to explain how it works and really explain it to the newbies that are new to CBO, exactly what it is and how it works and how it can benefit your business. So campaign budget optimization is a brand new feature to Facebook. It's only been going for the last few months. Now it's going to be mandatory by September, which means you need to adopt how to use it right now before it's too late. You need to make the campaign budget a minimum of $50. I don't recommend any lower than that, but I most prefer using a hundred dollars a day now you're probably thinking that's super expensive and it will make sense why you're going to be using that price range in a minute when i go over the image so this image shows exactly why you need to spend that kind of money for the campaign so this budget sorry this image shows without the campaign budget optimization now you can see here here's the campaign you've got three ad sets running ten dollars per ad set you can see here total conversions how many conversions this ad set and campaign got sorry this shows how many conversions this campaign got now you can see here the ad set two is performing the best but only ten dollars is going to it now obviously this is the best performing ad set in the campaign so the majority of the money should be going to this ad set if it's performing the best it only makes sense now if we have a look with campaign budget optimization the campaign is where the money is being held so when you spend a hundred dollars a day the campaign will be spending $100 a day. And with campaign budget optimization, you will be having 10 ad sets. So ignore the three ad sets, you'll be having 10 or five, depending on what budget you've got. Now, let's say you've got 10 ad sets running with a campaign being at $100 a day. All you're having is 10 ad sets technically spending $10 a day. But with campaign budget optimization, you can see here, the, um, the CBO, what it will do is it will spend the majority of the money on whatever ad set is performing the best. So you can see here, it spends the money equally, however much you've set the ad set at. Here, the campaign will maximize the ad set that will perform the best. So you can see here, Facebook are giving this ad set the majority of the money because it's performing the best, which only makes sense. That's what you're going to want. And you can see here in result, you're going to get an extra five conversions. So that's literally what CBO is. Facebook is basically using their, um, their pixel data and their intelligence to work out which ad sets perform the best. And they're going to be using your budget for the ad sets that are working the best. So from first to last, and that's how they're going to be using your budget instead of you just separately equally, equally even them out per ad set. And this is going to give you better results as you can see from this diagram. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to jump straight into the computer and I'm going to show you exactly how to set up these ad sets and campaigns so you can start using CBO. Before I move on to creating the ads and the campaigns, I just want to show you the winning product of today's video. So the winning product of today's video are these neon nails. And you can see here, they look incredible. They look amazing. Now, it's only got 9,826 orders, which means it's not saturated. It's got plenty of revenue share left. And you can see these have got an amazing wow factor. Now, you don't even need to run a video ad for this product. You could just run this picture as the ad picture and it will do amazing. But I still prefer using video ads. So 
I would prefer to use a video ad if it was me, but even if you don't want it, you can still just use this image and it will do great. This video has got the wow factor and that's what we're looking for in a winning product, guys. Now, also, we look about the targeting and the targeting for this product would be super simple and this winning product will be the example when I create the ads. So when I create the ads, when I show you CBO testing, I'm going to be using this product to create the interests and whatnot. So this is going to be the demonstration product in the video and it's also the winning product of today's video. So go out there and test it, guys. It's a great product to go and test. So guys, let's go over CBO testing. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit conversions on the ads manager. You're going to want to change the campaign name to whatever the product's called. So I'm going to call it Neon Nails. Bloody hell, I've done that wrong. And then I'm going to call it CBO and then what you're going to want to do is you want to click here where it says campaign budget optimization and then you're going to want to put daily budget as 100. In my opinion, I always leave it at 100. You can do 50 if you want. Now, if you're using 50 as the daily budget, you're going to want to create five ad sets. If you're doing 100 as the daily budget, you're going to want to create 10 ad sets. Very important, guys. You understand that. Then you're going to want to hit continue. Now you're going to want to change the ad set name to the product that you're testing. I've chose the winning product of today's video as the product. So that's what I'm going to change it to neon nails. Then you're going to want to add the interest, the countries that you're targeting and the age range you're targeting. Now, the reason why you do this is because when you create ad sets, if you create them like this, it makes them so much easier to read when you've got, when you're creating like 20 ad sets, it just makes life so much easier when you name them by interest because you easily identify which ones you want to change if that makes sense so always use this method that's the method i use now i've gone ahead already and created the ad but i'm going to be going through the whole way i've created it just to save some time me entering the information i thought i'd enter it already and then just go over what i've done so like i said that's how you're going to want to name your ad sets now you're going to want to scroll down and obviously change the purchase to website purchase conversion so make sure you guys go and do that then in terms of location targeting, I'm using the top five countries, the UK, the US, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Now I target the top five countries all the time. If you want, you can target the e-packet countries, which is like 33 countries. Now how you find those countries out is what you do is you Google e-packet countries. Shopify's wrote a blog on all the countries, copy them. Then you hit here, it says added locations bulk. Then it'll say by country, then copy and paste them in and then just use those countries. Now, I've changed the age from 18 to 45. Now, the reason why I've kept it at 18 is because I'm using those neon nails. Now, they're going to attract 18, 19, 21s, maybe 20s, 30s. So I've kept it quite young just because I feel like with those nails, they can quite, I think I think 18 year olds might buy them just because they're not going to be expensive. I will be pricing the product at 14.95 and that's what I recommend you do if you're going to be using the product to go test. So 18 year olds can easily afford that and ask their parents to buy it then. So I'm targeting 18 to 45. I don't think anybody older than 45 would buy those, buy the nails with the neon effect to them. Now, obviously I'm targeting just women because it's a women's product, which makes it easier. Now, obviously if you're using the e-packet countries, you're gonna wanna change this to English all because I'm targeting the top five countries. They're all English speaking countries, so I don't need to add that. Now, the interest that I'm using is nail salon. Now, this is where people go wrong. They get too um, lost in how to use interest. Keep it simple and just think about what is my product related to. So nail salon, people go to a nail salon to get their nails done and get them looking nice. Now, the people that go to a nail salon are gonna like my product because it's about nails and making your nails look good. So I've not overthought it. I literally, all I did to find this interest was I typed in nail and it came up with nail salon, artificial nails, and all of those other interests. Now guys, like I said, you're gonna to wanna to create this ad set, then duplicate it by nine times if you're using $100 as the daily budget. Now, if you're using $5, sorry, $50 daily budget, you're gonna to wanna to duplicate the ad set by four times, so in total you've got five ad sets. Now, per ad set, you're gonna to wanna to change the interest, and that is it, so per every ad set, you want a different interest. Now, how you come up with different interests is I literally just use the suggestion button here, and you can see here it's giving me some really, really good, good sorry, it's giving me some other really good um, interests like manicure, pedicure, nail polish. So like I said, guys, don't overcomplicate the interest. Whatever is related to your product, go on there and just add it as an interest. Trust me, don't complicate it. Now, we want the potential reach between one and a half million to 20 million. You can see my potential reach is 2.6 million. So we're definitely in that range. Now, if we scroll down, you don't want to expand interest, never expand interest. Now, edit placements, you always want to add edit placements and you always want device types mobile only. Very important that you make sure it's just mobile only. 
Then what we do is feeds and suggested feeds for Facebook and I turn everything else off. I like to run my Instagram ads separately to my Facebook ads. I just find it works so much better than when I run them together. Then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and that is literally all you guys need to do. So once you've created the ad and obviously you've added the video, added the ad copy and whatnot, then you can just click, click create campaign. Then all you're gonna to wanna to do is duplicate the campaign. Like I said, if you're gonna use $100 a day, duplicate it by nine times in total, you've got 10. If you're doing $50 a day, duplicate it another four times, you've got five in total. And all you gotta do guys is change the interest per ad set. So per every ad set you've created, you want a different interest between the reach, it needs to be between one and a half million and 20 million. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dive straight back into the Word document and show you when to kill and when to scale so you guys know exactly how to run these ads. So you're gonna to wanna to review your ad sets after 48 hours. Now I know a lot of people like to review them after 24 hours, I personally don't. I don't think 24 hours is long enough for Facebook to optimize them, so I always look after 48 hours. It's up to you, but I always do 48 hours. It's up to you, like I said, it just gives Facebook more time to optimize them. I see a lot of people kill ad sets within 24 hours and they just didn't give them enough time. If they were to give them another hour, sorry, not hour, 24 hours, they would have performed a lot better. So after 48 hours, kill ad sets with a cost per unique click over $1. Kill ad sets which have a CPM over $15. Call ad sets which have no sales. So if you have sales but your CPM is over 15 and your cost per, cost per unique click is over $1, just kill it. It's just not gonna work out well for you. So that's what I recommend you guys do. Now, whilst after 48 hours, you also wanna have these other metrics. So your click-through rate should be between two and 4% at minimum. Now guys, you gotta realize the lower your click-through rate, the more your CPM is gonna be, the more your ads are gonna cost you. So make sure that your click-through rate is between two and four. That is at the very minimum, guys. Two is at the very minimum. If you really wanna go even lower, one and a half is must be the like most minimum now. Guys, how you increase your click-through rate is having, make sure you've got a good ad video. Make sure your ad video is really, really, really good and it's congruent with the target market you're targeting. And also make sure that your ad copy is clean and clear and your thumbnail is very attractive. That's how you get a good click-through rate, guys. So make sure it's between the two and 4%. Now your relevant score should be, between, should be at minimum seven, at minimum seven. Anything below that, then your CPM is gonna go through the roof everything in terms of ad costs are gonna be very, very expensive. Now let's talk about reviewing your ad sets after 72 hours. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to kill ad sets with a ROAS, return on ad spend lower than 1.5. So as long as you've got two plus sales and your ROAS is higher than 1.5, then you can move on to the scaling part of this method. Now, I just wanna say before I move on to scaling, winning products tend to have a CPM lower than $15. Now, when you scale ad sets that have a ROAS higher than 1.5 and has at least two sales, you're gonna to wanna to start off by creative scaling, then you're gonna to wanna to move to horizontal scaling, then you wanna to move to vertical scaling. Now you're probably thinking, Cam, how do I do that? Now, in my previous video that I made on my YouTube channel, zero to $1,000, I mentioned how to do creative scaling, horizontal scaling, and vertical scaling. So we'll leave that video in the cards right here so you guys can go and check that out and you can go and scale. Now, obviously you don't need to worry about scaling if you're not meeting these requirements. Now, if you're not meeting these requirements, don't worry even about learning scaling. Always focus on what you're at at the moment and never think too ahead because if you do, you'll lose track and you'll get confused and you won't get results. So guys, as long as you've got the credentials that I just mentioned, then you can move on to this part. If you haven't, just restart again with a different product, guys. That is key. So guys, that's literally what you've got to do. And obviously, once you have met these credentials, then go and watch that video, zero to a thousand dollars. And like I said, in that video, I recommend skipping it to 10 minutes and then you can go and watch it. And in that video, you'll learn how to do creative scaling. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned CBO campaign budget optimization and you can go and use these methods to test new products. Now, like I said, make sure that you enter the drop shipping store review on my next video. All you gotta do is comment, I want my store reviewed and I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel.